this is a video tour and review of the Renault Kangaroo mini motorhome for one or two people. This is the view through the rear doors with the seating on the right, cushion store on the left and a small kitchen area. But really the main access is easier through the wide side sliding door. This is the small kitchen area with a twin Smev hob, chopping board over the sink which also fits on the hob, stainless steel sink and a manual pump tap. These conserve battery power and they tend to be much more reliable than electric. The roof has a pop top roof and when elevated allows about 6 foot 4 standing headroom. There's a ventilation panel in the side with a mesh fly screen. That's with the roof up from the outside. Making the beds in the roo is very easy. The roos can be either single berth or twin berth and in this case it's a twin berth. To make up the bed, simply pull out the panels, retrieve the table from the rear because this becomes the bed base, swivel the passenger seat around so that it faces towards the rear. Lay the table flat and there it is. The bed set up about six foot long and 50 centimeters wide with storage space beneath. Very important in a small vehicle. Setting up the other bed is even quicker. Simply pull the driver's seat forwards. Oh, and while we're here, here are the electrics. That's the split charger and the fuses for the tap and the light. Simply pull those panels out. Add on the cushion. And there's another six foot three berth. Again, roughly about 50 centimetres wide. And that's the roof set up for two people to sleep comfortably. And if you're a little bit creative, you could actually make an infill for between those two bunks to make it into a double. And that's the side view. There's a surprising amount of storage space in the roof considering it's such a small vehicle. Beneath the sink and hob, there's a full width storage cupboard with good access. There's a full width parcel shelf above the cab area, above the driver and passenger seats. And at night with the roof up, you could stretch a sheet of plywood across and make a further shelf for storage in the Luton area. There's ample storage in the rear, including a small porta potty which pulls out for use. And next to that is the leisure battery. That's run on the split charger so that it charges as you drive along. Beneath the larger seat area is the largest locker of the roof. That's the RCD connected to the hookup and there's a 12 volt socket. This one is actually quite useful for running, say, a cool box because it's live all the time. It runs directly from the leisure battery. Twin plug sockets. And a second large storage locker beneath the sink and hob area. And these are lap belts so you can carry an extra passenger or two. There's a light, should have three tubes in but I took out two because they just weren't necessary. The side sliding door gives access to the gas locker which holds a camping gas cylinder.
and at tea time you set up the table using the table post and the tripod foot and this provides comfortable seating for two to three people and there's a further pull-out shelf table in the rear. So that's the Renault Kangaroo Mini Motor Home, perfect for one or two people. There aren't many made, they're very highly sought after and great fun.